1944. In New York, the coin dealer Stax holds one of its regular auctions. Amazingly, it includes a coin that shouldn't exist, a 1933 double eagle. If the coin is genuine, how has it escaped the smelter and the mint? According to mint records, except for the two coins sent to the Smithsonian, all 1933 double eagles have been destroyed. Someone seems to have pulled off the perfect crime. The US Secret Service, responsible for the security of the nation's money, is ordered to investigate. They call in one of their best men, Special Agent Harry Strang. Harry Strang said, well, our records show that these were all destroyed and what you have may have been stolen from the United States government. The Stack brothers turned the coin over. They looked at it. Secret Service agents looked at it and said, well, in our opinion, it's genuine. Strang isn't out to prosecute those who own the coins. He's hoping to trace them back to the source and find whoever stole them in the first place. Everything points to Philadelphia, the birthplace of the Double Eagles at the U.S. Mint. Izzy Swit was at the heart of the Philadelphia gold trade and regularly visited the Mint to sell them scrap gold. Swit admits to Strang that he has sold nine Double Eagles. What Strang wants to know is where and more importantly, who he got them from. But Izzy isn't telling. Strang suspects Swit bought them from a Mint employee. The evidence against the former cashier is mounting. Strang discovers unexplained payments into McCann's bank account in 1936, amounting to $10,000, five times McCann's annual salary. What's more, the payments match withdrawals by Izzy Swit's business partner. Then, the kicker. Just four years after the 1933 Double Eagles were stolen, McCann was caught stealing miscellaneous coins from the Mint. He was found guilty and served a year in prison. Strang is convinced he's identified George McCann as the thief and Izzy Swit as his accomplice. But justice will prove elusive. Strictly speaking, we can't get to McCann or Swit. A statute of limitations means it's too late to prosecute them. Strang has managed to get nine illegal coins out of circulation, even if no one was prosecuted. But a tenth coin has slipped beyond the reach of the law, a coin that will make its way around the world and back again. And when it returns, it will be worth millions.